So, we're going to download Frets on Fire Alarian Mod. Alarian Mod, if you don't know what it is, it is a Frets on Fire theme that makes it look like the games that have come out in the past. And uh, it has hyperspeed and all that good stuff. So, the first thing you're going to need to do, if you don't have Alarian Mod already, is you're going to have to download Alarian Mod. Alarian Mod can be found on the Frets on Fire the Frets on Fire wiki it is it's going to be on here so I'm going to link you to it and uh once you download the Frets on Fire Alarian mod the zip file you're going to download it and then you're going to unzip it to anywhere where you feel comfortable like on your desktop usually so it's going to come out to a file it looks like here, let me zoom into here um it's going to it's going to look like this and then you're going to want to click on you're going to want to go to data and then you're you're going to want to see if there's a file that's called songs now the file called songs it's it's like a database for all of your songs and it reads off of that file off of the certain songs and there's going to be like a, a MIDI file and a a uh, OGG file and a INI file and those all combine together to make the song onto the game. So what you're going to what you do is you go and you download you download a a pack uh of a song or a, just a regular song, it doesn't even matter. And uh, shit, disable. Oh, one second. Uh, disable. All right, here we go. Okay, so then you're going to go to the song database, which I'll link to again. And um, you're going to find a song that you want. I'm going to download a System of a Down song because I like them. So we're going to find System of a Down. Let's try um, Let's try a radio video. I like that song. So you're going to click the link. And you're going to go to the download link that is pops up. Oh, file not found. Oh, I guess I'll change it. We'll download It's So Good by Joe Satriani. It, oh, here. Super Colossal. Okay, we'll try this one. Okay, this one worked. So now you click on the download. Something pops up that says, what do you want to do? You open it with WinZip. You push OK. It downloads the file. Here. Downloads the file. Then WinZip window pops up. Now you gotta have window yeah. You gotta have WinZip to do this because uh WinZip is the thing that's that's used to extract files. So you push extract. And then you're gonna go and you're gonna explore to this file. It's called if you're on Vista, it's users your computer name documents fof dash mfh3 underscore zero zero data and then songs if there isn't a songs file you need to make one as i said earlier so then you're going to push extract it's going to do its thing and then another window is going to pop up and you're going to see the file joe satriani super colossal right there it's going to have all this stuff in it some of them don't have a label. The label is just like um, a artwork. So once that's done, go into your Frets on Fire file and you click on Frets on Fire. <sighs> I'm gonna start this up. Here's Frets on Fire. I'm gonna solo. Oh, also. You're gonna go to options and then um, song list settings. Select song library. 
data, songs, accept folder. Then you're going to do apply new settings. And it'll restart and then it comes back up again. And if you want the Rock Band 2 skin, you go to options, theme settings, Rock Band 2, Rock Band 1, Mega Light, Guitar Hero 3, 2, 1, Aerosmith 80s, 8-bit, Rock Band 2, apply new settings. So then we go to solo, quick play. And then uh, we find the song right there. Click on it, guitar, expert, loading, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to turn the bot on. I don't really feel like playing right now. Yes, there's a bot built into it. I didn't build a bot into it, Jesus, people. And then uh, hopefully it'll play. Yeah. There it goes. So yeah, that's how that's how you install the Rock Band, Rock Band Two Alarian mod, um, setting thing file whatever. Now there's there's a lot of extra stuff that that I put into it like like hyperspeed and everything, which uh, is easy to do. To do hyperspeed, you go to options, fretboard settings, and then there's a little speed percent thing right here. The one that I use, it's just like the um, Hyperspeed 3 on Guitar Hero 3. It's 220. You just scroll to 220. And then um, the note hit window. And then the note hit window, when it says wide, that's about as... It's like in between Guitar Hero 2 and Guitar Hero 3 hammer-ons. It's like Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Um, it's, a, it's pretty good. And then um, the Hopo system, you want Guitar Hero 2 sloppy. Because that's what most customs are built for on the frets on fire system. And um, that's about it. And you can choose your point of view. You do not want Rock Revolution. That point of view sucks. But All right. That's how you install this program. So, yeah. All right. See you later.